Welcome everyone. This is Chloe again from Cousin DIY. If you're like me, you have a drawer or a bowl full of wine corks at home. We're gonna show you a way to repurpose or upcycle those wine corks. We're gonna make wine cork earrings. To start, you take a look at your cork and if there's print I like to cut the cork so that the print stands out on the top. I have pre-cut some right here because we're gonna be painting the other surfaces. So you would cut your cork in half using a utility knife or an X-Acto knife, cut it perfectly in half, and then you're gonna cut three, approximately three eighth inch pieces of cork. So you'll get half circles like this. And as you can see, this shows the writing on the top, which is gonna make them a little more um, aesthetically pleasing and interesting. So uh, I have these all pre-cut. The next step is to take a bead reamer or a darning needle. If you have a bead reamer, this works really well. And you're going to go straight down through the middle top of your cork until the reamer barely pops out of the bottom. And you're gonna do that to all your half circles of cork. The next step is to paint your corks. So we are going to start by flipping all the corks on one side. And I think it's neat to make it ombre so it's different shades. So um, we're using burgundy colored acrylic paint. We're gonna go dark on the bottom to the lightest on the top. So we're gonna start by squeezing some paint and we're going to paint solid color on the bottom we'll wait And we're going to do the same for what will be the matching earring. We'll let this dry and then we'll paint the back side. The nice thing about acrylic paint is it washes right off. And I find it dries pretty quickly. All right, so we're gonna let, we're gonna give that a few minutes to dry. Now that the first two sides are dry, we'll go ahead and paint the back side. Don't worry, like I said, if you get a little paint on your hands, it'll wash right off. Set that aside. Let those dry. The next step is to add a little water to dilute this paint so color isn't quite as intense. And we're going to test it 
That looks good. If we want it a little bit darker, we can go ahead and add a little more paint. Let's see what that looks like on our cork. It might, and you can dab it a little bit on a piece of paper. But as you can see, it's quite a bit lighter. We want it slightly darker because we even want yet. There, that looks pretty good. We'll do this side. And we'll do the matching one. Dab it again. I want to make sure the two match in terms of color intensity. We'll let those dry for a few minutes and then we'll paint the other side. Now that those two sides are dry, we'll paint the remaining side. Now we'll add a little more water, dilute it further, and this will be our lightest shade. That looks good. We'll let these dry a few minutes, flip them over, do the other side like we did the other two, and then we'll assemble our earrings. We'll be right back. The next step is to assemble our first earring. Um, I find it helpful to take your bead reamer or your darning needle, guide it down through just to show you where the bottom of the hole is in case you cover it up with your paint. Slide a head pin on the bottom piece of cork up through we're using some pretty little frosted red beads we're going to put three try to choose ones that are similar in size as you know e-beads can be very um can vary in their size. Um, there, I like the looks of that. Then we're going to use a cheater bead if you've watched some of our former videos, you've heard me refer to this before. It's about six to seven millimeters in size. I slide it on the head pin or eye pin where I'm going to form a loop. And I, down against my beadwork, and I cut just above it. And when I form a loop, and I make more loops, they'll all be consistent size. And if it bends a little bit, go ahead and straighten that head pin up. There's that one. Next, we take the second darkest color. We take an eye pin.
Can you be? Oh, no, sorry. Beads. <laughs> this time we're going to add two beads. And lastly, our lightest shade. Find the bottom of the hole again. Take another eye pin. Bring that eye pin up through the hole. This time we're gonna have one bead on top of that. Okay, and you'll see on the bottom piece of cork, on the top, I have the loop going side to side. On the medium, whoops, on the medium color, which will be on top of that, the bottom loop is going um, from front to back as is the top loop. You just want to make sure whenever you see that's a little crooked, straighten it out. And then on the top, we want both the bottom and the top to be going from side to side. And if it isn't that way, just take your pliers and swivel those loops so they're going in the right direction. Now we're going to connect to our ear wires. The top. There's our first earring. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that process to make the matching earring. I think I'm ready to have a glass of wine and try on my new wine cork earrings. Thanks for joining us. If you make some wine cork if you make wine cork earrings of your own, please share them with us on Instagram at hashtag createwithcousin. Thanks for joining us today. Bye.